If you're familiar with TiVo, you're probably aware that they make DVRs, really good ones. The problem is a lot of people are trying to cut the cord and they're trying to stay away from antennas and cable and go to the internet, which is why TiVo came out with this. Well, this is the remote for their TiVo Stream 4K. It's an Android TV device and the whole idea around it is to make cutting the cord easier. Now, with Roku and Fire TV, they do have their own kind of recommendations that they'll help you with. But the nice thing about the TiVo Stream 4K is right on the remote, you'll see that little TiVo button right there. And the whole purpose of the TiVo app is to wrap your main streaming apps like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and so on, and make it easier to find new things to watch. They've also just taken their very nice TiVo DVR remote, they've shrunk it down, and put some nice little shortcuts on there that you may want access to. So you've got your volume and power button and input for your TV, as well as mute. You've also got channel up and down for their live TV service, and the Google Assistant button, because this does run Android TV, as well as a number pad to make typing in pins a lot easier. They've set themselves apart pretty nicely just on the remote compared to the competition. The software is also very nice. Now, I'm a big fan of Android TV. I like the interface of it and I like the way it overall feels. But especially with the TiVo remote here, it just has a nice feel to it overall. Now, like I said, TiVo does have their app here. The TiVo app is very nice at finding things that you want, but it does have a few issues. Number one, the only live TV service that it supports through its TiVo app is Sling. Now, Sling is very nice, but I recently switched to YouTube TV, which is a lot better. Now, I did buy this before I switched to YouTube TV with the intention of using it with Sling, but I got really tired of not having local channels directly from Sling and trying to use Sling's Air TV is a complete mess. So I decided, let's try a new service. Now, YouTube TV works just fine out here. After all, it's an Android TV device and it's all Google. The problem is this now makes that guide button that's right here at the top kind of useless. I don't want to use TiVo's free streaming service. It's not, I'm not gonna say it's bad, but it's just, I, I, I already have Pluto and I like that better. And not to mention, a lot of these buttons only work if you're using TiVo software. Now, if you're a Sling subscriber, you'll find the TiVo app is very nice because Sling integrates and uses that guide button on the remote very nicely. The problem is, if you're not a Sling subscriber, a lot of these buttons on this remote, like live and skip and guide and channel up and down, don't really work as well. Because the only other thing the guide is for is TiVo's free Pluto TV uh, fake live streaming app, which is fine, but Pluto TV is a lot better. There's also Stir and Zumo. There's better alternatives than TiVo's free streaming app. Beyond TiVo's app, the TiVo Stream 4K is a really nice device to use. Now, when I first set it up and it was doing updates and installing apps, it did freeze a few times. It would come back to life. It did chug a little bit on the first install, but ever since then, it's been a very smooth device to use. Not to mention, I just really like using it with this remote. It's a really solid feeling remote. It doesn't feel cheap, and it just feels great in the hand. Now, if you're gonna compare it to the Roku, the Fire TV, and the Apple TV, it's a nice value, you know, especially if you're a Sling subscriber. But if you're not, I can't say that you're gonna wanna run out and buy one of these. It's a nice device to use. The TiVo app is very nice, but I gotta say, it's not something that I would then throw away my Roku or my Fire Stick for. It's a nice device though, especially at the $50. At 70, it's still a very fast device, but if you look at a Fire Stick 4K or a Roku streaming stick, I don't know, those are $50, they're still pretty fast. I don't know if this is gonna catch a lot of people at $70. But if you're a Sling subscriber, uh, well, especially if you like this remote, and I really don't blame you, it's a really nice remote to use. I don't know if I can give this a 
full recommendation. Again, it's a great device, very fast, very smooth. I just, you know, I don't know if I'd run out and get one if my Roku's working fine. If you're a TiVo subscriber, you're not gonna get that much use out of it. It doesn't connect to your t other TiVo devices in the house. Really, this is only designed for people that TiVo are trying to pull in that may have never had a TiVo or are just completely looking to cut the cord. I still give it a good recommendation, but I don't know if I'd run out and get it if you've already got devices that you like using. That's my take on the TiVo Stream 4K. Thanks for watching. See you later.